Walter Young knows a little something about winning OIA championships here at Wai'anae. In fact, he was part of the last team to do it in 1997. Now he becomes just the sixth head coach in Sea Rider football history. As we move towards 2015, he'll lead a defense loaded with talent and a whole lot of confidence as they try to do what 17 other Sea Rider teams haven't been able to do reclaim the OIA championship and bring it back to the west side. This is Wai'anae, and this is 16 in 16. Walter Young replaces longtime head coach Danny Matsumoto, and from the moment he received the job, his presence with the team has been met with overwhelming positivity, all built around his philosophy that team success begins off the field. These kids learn how to, you know, become self-motivated workers. You know, they'll succeed no matter what, and that's the big thing we push. And the biggest thing is how you work in a class is how you're going to work out here, so we push that classroom issue big. It's pretty good, I mean, being that I just came up from the JV, so I know most of these kids, but their work ethic is getting a whole lot better. And um, the, the leadership skills from some of these kids that we're seeing helping the younger ones is really helping us uh, get through this summer. The Sea Riders will return four guys up on the offensive line, and among the threats behind them, watch out for fullback Jurek Valdez, whose numbers are expected to rise after rushing for 343 yards and seven touchdowns last season. The area to watch, however, is quarterback. A three-man battle with last year's JV slinger Jaron Ulu, junior Jarrell Pontes Borgia, and Quinn Searles, all who bring something different to the table. One's more athletic, uh, one's more a pocket passer, and one, you know, his reads, the mind, his, the mind for the game is real well. Been good because we started the season early and we got to condition more, could get in shape before season start. We got new formations. We'll be running the same, but we put in a little different little faster things to do. My expectations is for him to get the bulk of the carries. I mean, in our system, we like to run the fullback a lot, so since he'll be our fullback, we expect big things out of him. The defense takes a couple of big hits with the loss of Nathan Caressa and Justice Jardine, both gone to graduation. But Waianai's defense shows great potential, specifically at linebacker, with senior Ikaika Pa'au'au Ahina leading the way. I think the biggest thing that I improved on was being vocally a leader, a leader. Last year, I kind of, you know, stayed back in the shadows of Nate Caressa and Justice Jardine. I kind of just followed by action. And this year, I'm more vocally, you know, trying to, you know, from beginning to the end of practice, I'm basically the voice of practice and stuff like that. So that's been a big step for me, is being vocally a leader. Brutal. I mean, not to brag or anything, but our defense is very tough. And this is by far the best defense I've been a part of uh, out of my entire high school career. I didn't face any difficulties uh, with my team, the boys. They gave me a lot of, call that extra work. They pushed me and I think we're ready for this season. Our defense pushes the offense really hard. Uh, I'm trying to get our running back, Jerk Valdez, quarterback, Jarrell Pontish ready for anything. Kaika, he brings a lot of leadership skills. I mean, he doesn't only, he doesn't talk very much about him, but he likes to show by example. And Joey, I mean, he's just, you know, he's athletic for as big as he is. So it's exciting to watch him come off the end. First step pretty quick. So that's what makes him special. Whole lot of flying around and whacking of people. Um, they're, they're fast. We got a lot of athletic kids on defense. Our, off uh, our linebackers is probably our core. I mean, they fly around and sideline to sideline. So. I think it's going to be exciting. It's been nearly two decades since Waianae has taken home an OIA championship, but with time and a whole lot of work, the Sea Riders hope they have the pieces to make another run at the crown. These guys that came before me, they, they, they set forward such you know big shoes that got to fill, but I think with these kids and how they're coming around, I, I'll be able to you know just step in their shoes and you know bring this team back to where it needs to be. Uh, this would mean the world to us to bring back a state championship or a OIA championship to Waianae. I mean, this would mean so much to our families and our community because, you know, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time and I think, you know, it's time to change that and restore order. Can the Sea Riders get back to the top? Waianae begins their season August 7th, a home game versus Kamehameha Kapalama.
Felipe Alhastro, ScoringLive.com.